Hi, this video will talk about how to change the base of a logarithm, and this is pretty useful. When we think about it and look at our calculators, they pretty much will only do log base 10 or natural log, log base e. So when we're given something like this first example, log base 3 of 67, we don't really know what to do with it, all right? So we can't use our calculator. The only thing we can do is approximate it and start guessing. Right? But using the change of base formula, we can come up with the exact amount of this. Right? So what the change of base formula says, if we have log base A of X, then we can turn that into log base B of anything we want. We pick the B. Okay? So we can pick anything we want. So it's log base B of X divided by log base B of A. As long as the log of the numerator and log of the denominator are exactly the same, we have to pick the same one in the numerator and the denominator, then this will give us what our log base A of X is equal to. So let's do an example and put this into practice. Okay? So here I have my log base 3 of 67. In general, I'm going to pick my log base B to be either 10 or E. Okay, why am I going to do that? Well, then I can use my calculator. If I pick something like 5 or 12 or whatever, um, it's not going to make my calculations any easier. But if I pick B to be 10, all right, or pick B to be E, all right, and that essentially is our natural log, okay, then it's going to make our lives a whole lot easier. So let's do this first example. I'm going to actually take my B to be 10. All right, and what it says is that this is equal to log base B. Well, it's going to be log base 10. Remember, if it's log base 10, I don't really write it, of X, which in this case is 67, divided by log of the same base, which in this case is 10, so I don't really write it, of A, which in my original formula is 3. And now I can use my calculator. I can just plug in log of 67 and I'd get 1.826, all right, going out to three decimal places. And I can plug in my denominator, which is log of 3, which I get 0 0.477. And again, using my calculator, 1.826 divided by 0 0.477 would give me 3.8. To eight. Okay, so now I've come up with the exact number for this log base 367 is equal to 3.828, and I don't have to go through the guessing. All right, it also makes calculations easier. Here I have log base 9 of 85 plus log base 7, 17. Why don't I just do addition goes hand in hand with multiplication. Well, I can't just multiply 85 and 17 because I don't have the same base. If they were both base 9 or both seven, base 7, I could then multiply them, but I don't. I have two different bases. So in order to add these numbers, I've got to actually come up with a common base. All right. So the first thing I'll do is convert this, and again, I'll just go to log base 10. All right. So it's going to be the log of x, which is 85 divided by the log of 9. All right. And I can use my calculator to give me that. And that is going to be equal to 2.022. I want to also point out another common mistake. This is not the same as the log of 85 minus 9. Why? Because you got a log 85, log 9. When we were doing them before, Okay, they were set up like this, 85 over 9, okay? So you have to actually take the log of 85 and divide it by log 9. It's not the same thing as the log of 85 over 9, all right? So that would be 2.022, and over here I'm going to change this base again to base 10, and I'd get log of x, which in this case is 17, divided by log 7, Okay, I can use my calculator to come up with a number equivalent of that, 1.456, all right, and now my original problem said to add these, all right, so when I add them, I get an answer of 3.478. So knowing how to change the base of a log is very useful in the fact that we turn 
something that's difficult to calculate into something that we can just use our calculators for.